Hello everyone, I'm Hana. I just want to share my experience of taking foundation in law at UITM The Kill. Because I know my juniors, uh, a lot of you guys just got your SPM result and I know there will be a lot of crisis of where you want to pursue. So yeah, I just figured maybe if you are expecting to take law, this would be useful for you or anyone that you know. If you take foundation UITM, all of the foundation will be in one center which is UITM Then Kill. Uh, hence the name Pusat Asasi UITM Then Kill. But for UITM Foundation in Law, you will have two programs that are available. The first one is UITM and the second one is KPTM. What it means is basically for the KPTM, uh, you can apply for other universities when you want to enter degree. But for UITM, you can only apply for UITM Shah Alam. I will only be focusing on UITM Law KPTM because that's what I took. So preparation, right? What you need to do before entering. You might think that you need to have legal knowledge, but honestly, you don't actually need it because you're gonna learn it. Um, in a sense that if you can uh, get access to it, I really highly recommend you to do so. It's always better to come prepared than not. But if you don't, you don't have to worry because I definitely start out with not much legal knowledge. But again, it's worth doing research. So watch videos, get like uh, content from the internet and I'm gonna like put somewhere or just like in the description um, for the channels that I really like and highly suggest. Other than that, what I did was I joined this class by my senior. Um, she taught us a specific content in the syllabus. If you can find a class, it's good that you can join those. It's not necessarily going to make sense at first because I remembered entering the, my senior's class. I don't understand how do I apply this stuff. But once you actually learn all those stuff with your lecturers, those knowledge comes in handy. So preparation done. Now we go into the actual academic. I think we can start with what you're gonna learn. You have two semesters in total. In the first semester, you're gonna learn six and a half hours later. Now to do, you're gonna learn eight subjects. So for KPTM, there's UPU pointer and UITM pointer. So for UPU pointer, you have four law subjects. So out of the four, they're gonna take three of your best subjects. Your first sem UPU pointer is really important because it's gonna be the qualification for you to choose the course that you want for degree. But as for your U UITM pointer, well, obviously, they're going to look at all the subjects that you're going to learn, which is eight subjects. Okay, so uh, I'm going to begin with the law subjects. Introduction to Malaysian legal system. Introduction to legal theories, which is uh, arguably the hardest one. Introduction to legal learning skills. And also introduction to social psychology for law. For the hardest subject, it was hard, I think, because you're going to learn a lot about theories. And basically, those are thoughts and school of thoughts. There's a lot of opinions and there's a lot of quotes from scholars that you need to memorize. So you will also have to remember a lot of case law. So it's a pretty heavy subject, but it was fine. I got A and weird enough, I actually got A for all the law subjects except for legal learning skills. It's not actually hard. Mostly what's hard is analyzing case law. I think I just didn't put enough effort. It should be easy. So yeah. For Malaysian legal system, it was definitely more substantial. For example, you're going to learn about preliminary, premil, preliminary matters. Like what do you need to establish before being able to bring a suit to the court? Or what you call the person who brought a suit to the court, which is plaintiff. And what you call people who will defend themselves, which is defendant. So this stuff, uh, like there's a lot of terminologies. It's the basic of the basics. And I think it was fun because my lecturer was great too. So yeah. I forgot to mention about social psychology for law. It's actually my favorite subject. It's really easy so you don't really have to worry. I won't be focusing too much on the non-law subjects but there are four as you can see. And for the most part, you just have to do your assignments and just do what your lecturer asks you to and you will get A. But I think the most challenging one for me is the info and communication technology. You are going to have continuous assessment, which is a pain in the ass. And my tips is for you to focus on what is actually going to contribute to your final score. Because I remember putting a lot of effort on things that are not even necessary. So that's one thing to really keep in mind. So that's for your first sem 
subject. I hope I covered all of it because I really am just blabbing out everything right now. So moving on to the second semester. So in this semester, there are seven subjects in total with three law subjects. The first one is Introduction to Contract, Tort and Criminal. Second one is Introduction to Malaysian System of Government. And the last one is Contemporary Global and Legal Issues. So for the contract, tort and crime, it's basically what it is. It's gonna teach you the elements of contract. For tort, it teaches you the type of tort under tort law that's available. For criminal, they're gonna teach you the very basics of how to establish a crime. That's for the first subject. And then we have the Malaysian system of government. I would say this subject is very factual and it's a lot like the Malaysian legal system in the first semester but it's so much more <laughs> it uses a lot of authority from federal constitution uh, yeah that's gonna be like your main authority you're gonna learn about the government basically okay tunggu je azan <laughs> okay for the last subject which is contemporary global and legal issues this subject is by the name itself it involves a lot of international law current affairs and international affairs and human rights issues so obviously you're gonna need to read a lot of news because of this subject i got really committed into reading more don't worry if you don't have international law knowledge blah 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 i didn't have either but i got a everything is fine what you need to do is stay committed throughout your academic session oh and for second semester you are going to learn also there's islamic legal stuff and there's also english to english which is more comprehensive than the first semester because you're gonna do a lot of assessments the thing that you might want to focus is introduction to economics but you know people say it's gonna be hard and i was so worried before entering second semester but then it was actually so easy <laughs> like i i'm not interested so much in mathematics but yeah it wasn't really all mathematics at all it was more of grasping the concept and also just applying formulas most killer side subject would be computer science from your first semester that's the only subject i mean personally at least for me maybe i just didn't know where to focus at that time but yeah you can learn from my mistake as for your final pointer for upu they will choose any four of your best law subjects from both semesters and for your uitm pointer obviously they're gonna calculate all of your subjects from both semesters now for the last part i think i just want to talk about familiarity familiarity you know like how familiar you are to legal words because legal terminologies legal sentence and just formation of words or sentence are just different <laughs> they're different and they're not easy to understand i can read novel i can read uh, whatever i can read english but when i read law it's <laughs> it's a different language right so you don't have to worry if you really don't get it because i really didn't get it back then it will grow on to you but the thing that you need to do is keep on reading even if you don't understand it you just keep reading and you try your best to really extract what you can understand over time you're gonna understand more and more and you're gonna be surprised on the progress that you're gonna make it's not because of your issues with english or your lack of knowledge is because understanding legal sentence really takes time so don't worry okay last 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 lastly i would share on how personally i managed to score for first semester i got 3.8 uh, for uitm and 4.0 for upu and for second semester i got 4.0 uitm and also 4.0 upu you can only aim for upu but i really suggest you to work hard enough for every subject so that your ATM pun you got 4.0 because it's actually really easy right and it's a waste if you don't make use of it my suggestion is mostly to work hard for your carry marks i'm pretty sure our syllabus would be uh, very much similar a lot of our marks are divided into carry marks and also mid tests and also final okay so i can't remember the percentage put all your effort in group works I know it's gonna be a burden, it's gonna be annoying, there, there will be people who don't actually give the same amount of energy, you know, that's the thing that you're gonna face and I guess that's just like another stuff for another day. But the thing is, just work on your group assignment because it will really help you. You know, it's better if you work hard before 
and put all your efforts and then in the end if you feel like you can't do it you can just give a little bit uh, slack for yourself have a really good carry mark and then uh, for final if you do well then you're gonna get really good results but if you actually slack a little bit you can actually cover it up with a lot of your carry marks I think that's how I got 4.0 for my second semester because my carry marks were all really good because I remember working and focusing a lot on group works so yeah I think that's it um, I think this is already a long video and I've actually recorded twice so I'm really tired if you have any questions you can drop them on the comment section and uh, I'm also planning to do a tutor class so you can stay updated through my social media I hope if you are going to foundation in law ITM all the best and don't worry it's actually very enjoyable personally make good friends and just stay engaged with your academics and you're gonna do well so thank you for watching Thank you.